Hey all, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna look at how to change the root password of your FreeBSD box. You've forgotten it. It happens. Memories are, are funny things. They don't always work as we would like them to. Mine, all over the place. So, before we jump into that, don't forget to um, jump on the Discord server, link in the description. Say hello to your fellow community members. If you need any advice, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Or if you just want to have a chat, I'm sure they'll be willing to have a chat. I'm in there every now and then. I can't say as and when, but I am in there now and then. So you've got your free BSD box and you've completely forgotten the password. What can you do? Well, there is a way. If you've got physical access to the box, which is desirable, turn it off and start it back up. So we'll do that now. We'll turn it on. Let it go through its boot up and uh, get to the, the, the loader. So we'll go through the UEFI. Here's the loader. So I'm going to pause it for now. So you've got a few options there. So the first one is boot into the multi-user. That's your, your standard environment. That's what you would use day to day. It will boot into that by default. Then you've got boot into the single user mode, which is the one we're going to use, but we'll come back to that in just a sec. You've got your escape to loader prompt, reboot, and then you've got the console mode and it's in video. And then you've got two options at the bottom. You can change the kernel. You know, if you've got a dodgy kernel, you can always change it to a different one if you've got various kernels. As you can see, I've got a custom kernel and a, and a default kernel. And then you've got your boot options. Now, if you're using ZFS boot environments, that will show up here as well. But in this one, we're not. So let's boot into number two, single user mode. Click the two button, press the two button, click it. It's not a mouse, what am I talking about? Let it go through its little cycle here and you'll get to enter the path or shell. Now, the default is bin sh and that will do for our needs. So just press your return key or enter key. By default, this is now sat in a read-only file system, which means any changes we make here they won't survive a reboot. So we need to change that. And the way to do that is to mount the file system as read write. Makes sense, right? 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 So mount minus u forward slash, and then mount minus a to mount all file systems. There we go. We've now got a read write file system. Nice and easy. And it's just as simple as changing your password in as any other user. P-A-S-S-W-D. Choose a new password. Now on my previous, I know that there was no password. So I could have done this without doing any of this, but for this video, I know there was no password. I've now set a password. So if I now reboot and let it boot up into its normal multi-user mode, it should allow me to put in that new password. So let's give that a try. There's two ways of getting out here. You can just type exit and it will just carry on its boot process. But I like to, to reboot it so that it gets a nice clean environment. So let's reboot. Let it go through its boot up sequence. Once it's flushed everything, there you go. Single user shell terminated. All buffers synced. Here comes the UEFI. There you go. Let it boot up. I oh, know, Apple keyboard and mouse. Ugh. It's all I've got to hand. Setting its uh, date via NTP. Almost there. There we go. So, there we go. So that was with no password. And here's with my new password. Boom. We're in. And now, I can do whatever I need to do. There we go. Great stuff. Let's check package to make sure it's up to date. Lovely. All done. Super. So that's job done. Not much else that needs to be said. We can log out and log back in as our user. Do whatever we need to do. 
There we go, there's our KDE desktop. Back to where we started, but this time we now know our root password. There we go. Great stuff. If you find this useful, guys, give it a thumbs up for me. It doesn't cost anything. You know, helps me out a little bit. And uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. That's free too. Click the bell notifications to get notifications of when I release new videos. And don't forget to jump into Discord. Link down there. As always, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.